Yeah, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen the rest of the day with. Geez, that's a nice looking cart. Oh wait, that, that cart's coming here. Welcome back to good old Southern IA. We got an exciting one here today. This is the quad tracks date this fall. It is a 1421 Kinsey grain cart. Hot off the presses, these will be available for the 2022 season. Justin came down with us here today. He's gonna to be walking through with us all of the model changes to the 1421 cart, run through all the enhancements, I guess yep. we could say. So all of our corner dual augers got that same model number change as we talked about earlier with the 1121. So. First two digits, the bushel capacity. Third digits, the number of augers. Last digits, the revision level. So this is our 1421, very similar to our old 1205. Um, we, if you want to start up in the front, we made some enhancements on our spout. So we've gone back to more of our uh, column of grain, so better spout control. Before we were kind of off at a tangent um, and not real great I'm going to say grain control for the unload side. So we're back in line with like the plane of the semi. Tip spouts got a little bit more adjustment. We're um, plus or minus 30 degrees on that. We've added a hose and harness control. So we're keeping these hoses where they used to come out right beside the PTO shaft. Now we're keeping them in front or on top of it, as I should say. While we're talking about, we can talk about tracks. So camso tracks, there's really only a few points the grease on here, as you can see, we've got all our indication points. Um, it's self-tensioning. These are like a 5,000 hour service on the actual bogies themselves, but you've got a couple grease points. When you're getting a new track like this though, make sure that you uh, follow the break-in procedures, which is really just putting some graphite or talc in that track if you're going in road. And if you're out in the dirt or on gravel, obviously you've got some friction or some stuff to uh, dissipate the heat. But if you're roading for a long period of time, Make sure you follow that. It'll make your layer or your life on your belt uh, last a lot longer. But. And what we were talking about, what makes me excited about this, especially pairing it with the track tractor now, is can you talk about like how much of a footprint this has in a field with the cart full going yeah, across so, the ground? So on your green cart compared to a, a tire machine, so your track machines are typically going to be somewhere around that 15 to 20 psi, where tires are typically 20 to mid 40 psi so we're reducing that compaction on our soils by about half of what you'd see from a tire machine typically so anytime you can keep from compaction from robbing your bushels uh, it's going to be paybacks um, i know it's been a few years ago uh, university i think wisconsin did a study where you're seeing about four to five percent yield loss from tires versus track so you start breaking that down over say a thousand acres even at 390 corn, it's you know less than two year payback and we're well above that today. Can you explain why the model number changed? Yes, so we had a lot of confusion in the marketplace on our bushels versus the model number. Um, we were always with the track machine uh, about 200 bushel short. So like a 1205 is now the 1421 because uh, we wanted to line back up with the bushels because when people talk about a cart, yeah, I'm looking at 1100 bushel cart, I'm looking at a 1200 bushel cart, 
Well, if you priced out a 1100 bushel cart versus 1100 bushel cart would be good, but a lot of guys are pricing a, say, 1100 bushel cart versus a 1300 bushel cart, and it's not apples to apples. So when they saw like an 1105, they thought it was an 1100 bushel grain cart Correct. when it was really a 1300, 1300. bushel grain cart. Yep. Okay, and 1400 bushels, is that flat across the top, heaping, how, how are... Load. Heap load? Heap load. Okay. Just as you'd unload out of a combine, dragging through the field. Yep. Okay. Yep. So here is our um, dump door that's on a main beam. So it's a, a main shaft that runs all the way from front to back. Uh, we put our handle, which is actually in your shop, on this. We've got a secondary release. So we would pull that pin, you pop it open, doors would all come down. You can go through and put your sweep in if you want to, uh, run it down. Uh, and you can see like right here these are a little bit different than the last view you took but that's what is closer to our production so they're a flatter surface not so rounded so we're sealing a lot better and this is this is unique to kenzie the the corner yep. it's got like the corner auger style on a dual auger cart and yep. that's what sets kenzie yep. apart right so th yeah this whole thing actually is on a pivot as well so you've got not only a corner auger but your whole grain transfer can rotate inside of these this frame so as you're as you're rolling you'll actually take this whole auger and you can roll it in with your grain transfer so as we run up it'll run to about you know, right about there and as you come back you can see we're maxed out so we get about two feet of reach and two feet of height um, on that but on the back side here we've added a uh, grease bank so these are all um weekly Zerks on our grease bank. Uh, so it's your whole grain transfer um, system on the front side. So we've got your two main front ones, the idler in the back, the carrier on this guy. Requirements from the tractor is two remotes and a PTO and a light, light plug. Light plug. We've got a five point scale system. So our scale box or junction boxes here. We've got basic points on front and back of both sides of our axles so you can see our our beam right there our way beam there it's on front and back and then our hitch um, so we're tied into our j box here runs up to the cab um, right now we've got a gt uh, 400 in there for for ben to use this year so just a simple um, run-of-the-mill scale where you're not you know doing any auto logging you're not taking field counts or uh, for insurance so you just know what's on the cart. We also have this year would be like a remote scale display um, that is going to be optional for dealer install as well for all of our lineups, singles and duels, um, both. So um, if you have that, typically they're somewhere in this area uh, for the combine operator to see what he's got on the cart. So it's just a uh, replication of what's on the display head in the cab. Something else that's different about Kinsey is Talk about the the panel construction. That's yep. that's completely so we're different. A modular style powder coated um, panel construction. So you've got your upper tub, which is your front, your side panel, your back. Say for example, I'm driving around and I back into something here. My rear panel. Well, you've got the ability to replace this rear section, the top section as individual pieces. So. Uh, you can basically rebuild your grain cart piece by piece if needed. Manual tarp on this guy, you can put electric tarp options on them as well, but um, just a simple tarp. How big is this auger? 24. 24 inch auger. Yep. 750 bushel minute unload. Oh, I heard him say, guys typically run something in a certain position or whatever, something up here. Oh, that's based upon your cojones? Uh, oh, he says flow about flow gate about four is where most guys feel comfortable four, rolling in it. They don't kick it all the way open to the <laughs> six. <laughs> I'm thinking one. Six. <laughs> like I said, that four four to five range mid throttle, you're gonna you're gonna fill a semi pretty quick. When are these gonna be available? So November of this year is where our typical early order period starts for next year's fall delivery. Fall delivery. Yep. So you can start ordering in November if you want a new cart for next harvest. Yep.
good. Looks good. Looks good. Excited about the tracks, I guess. I'm excited about the the high rate of unload. I'm excited about the capacity that it has. It was like yeah, there isn't much that doesn't excite you about it. Does scales it? excite no. me about it. The scales. Scales are definitely gonna be nice. Yeah. I'd say the tracks, the track, the track tractor, and the track grain cart combination going through the fields pretty it's good. Got some good reach. I don't think you'll have to hug the semi near. No. I like the fact that it's blue. You don't wonder, you don't drive by and wonder, what card is that? <laughs> it's Kenzie. That's a Kenzie <laughs> card. We're excited. And I think Kenzie's excited to be bringing you guys their product all fall, seeing it in action, putting it to work, and seeing what it can do. And if you notice right here, there's a combine now missing from the shop. That's because it's headed off to the first field where we're going to be starting to pick tomorrow, taking you guys with us. We thank you for hanging out with us here today. We really appreciate it. We hope you guys come back. Like always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out, and we'll see you the next time. What do you think, young man? That's a pretty nice machine. It's a big cart. It's 1,400 bushels. 1,521. Yep. 14, 1,400 bushels. Two is dual auger. One is the first series. 